The CMOS Fiesta, held under the theme Leave No One Behind, Better Production, Better Nutrition, and a Better Environment for All, aimed to encourage a change in public practices and habits toward consuming more locally grown crops, including CMOS, by showcasing a diverse range of value-added CMOS commodities. The event held in honor of World Food Day on Sunday, October 16, 2022 in Fordor, saw over 20 CMOS processors, farmers and schools displaying products such as CMOS powder, ice pops, soaps and cakes. The CMOS Fiesta also saw the official launch of the Ministry of Agriculture's CMOS catalog, which included CMOS-infused recipes, as well as a compilation of CMOS processors and their products. One of the featured agro-processors in the catalogue, Solaj Martelli, was also present at the festival with a display of her product offerings. My family has been in CMOS for like 30 years now. Um, so recently we decided, you know, it's time to make a legacy for ourselves, right? So we branched out and we're now doing our own thing. And we figured, you know, the part of CMOS is becoming something so um, important nowadays because everybody has a busy schedule. You want to get this and get on the run. So, you know, we figured like that's the best option. So we've been trying to enhance that and continue to improve as time goes by. Um, essentially, we do the dried CMOS in its um, golden form. We have the powders. We also have some muffins that we came out with recently. It's got the bananas, raisins, everything. And our newest one, which is the cocoa mix. Um, well, it's got chocolate, our local cocoa, actually. And all you do is you add your water. It has the spices, it has milk, it has everything already. Um, we have the other flavors like the turmeric, ginger, moringa, all of them. And we also have the purple powder, which is said to be even more nutritious than those flavors as well. According to Agriculture Minister Honorable Alfred Prosper, the CMOS Fiesta forms part of the ministry's mandate to achieve Sustainable Development Goal 2, to increase food security by ensuring that the public consumes local healthy foods and increasing the livelihoods of CMOS farmers and agro-processors. Some people may ask, why CMOS? CMOS is also a very important diet, it very, it's very nutritious, but more significantly, it is very, very, um, it creates a big impact on the rural population. We know currently we have more than 400 persons involved in the production of CMOS. We have about 65 persons who are directly involved in the export of CMOS. It is a growing industry, and as I said, it is very, very important for the rural populace. And our ministry, considering the importance and value of this subsector, for them um, the, in the agricultural sector, we thought it was a very good activity today to really bring them together. The event, which included a fun family day with activities for adults and children, concluded on a high note with the public being able to enjoy the many CMOS products while being entertained by live performances from St. Lucian artists and bands. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.